Hi everyone, Philip here again. In today's video, I want to show you how you can create a short film in Unreal Engine. This is the first video in my how you can create a film in Unreal Engine series. In this particular video, I will cover the first stage, which is the pre-production phase. First, I start with a completely empty or blank map or scene. I introduce my hero character and I add a light so we can see what's going on. I place a, a typical top light and give it a little bit of blue tone since that fits to the tone I want for this particular film. And the chair and the table are the two main assets I need for this particular film. I am purposely creating a 916 format for this story since I'm dedicating it for social media. First, I place my hero character on the chair. She's sitting at the end of the table and she's looking sad and I'm starting to direct the lights to fit the tone. I am now introducing the mother of the hero and also the father. And as you can see, they are arguing and fighting and our hero character is just sitting by herself observing the scenario in front of her. In this particular scene, I want the camera to circle around twice. Each full circle of the camera is one timeline. So the first timeline is where we see our hero experiencing her traumatic event that leaves a mark and the second timeline is where the hero character has become an adult but still has the mark from her past and as this particular story evolves around trauma and how trauma leaves a mark or triggers within us I want to visualize that and we see that it looks like that as an adult that she's repeating the same pattern as she experienced as a child. And just as we think she's about to repeat the exact same pattern, we see that she realizes what she is about to do. And then finally, she embraces and hugs her daughter and thereby she breaks the evil circle. I keep adding lights to shape the story. I am mainly using rec lights as they're called in Unreal Engine. And instantly when we see our hero character experiencing this traumatic event we see that is instantly leaving a mark and in this instance I created the mark as a visual mark on her body. In order to create the mark on her body I first need to find the texture map of the metahuman character and export. Once exported I open the texture in Photoshop when I have found the correct placement of the mark, I then create a mask that I can use to add on the material. I then duplicate the metahuman skin material. And as you can see, I add the mark in the emissive channel because I want the mark to glow. And I'm using my mask to visualize what part of the body I want to glow. And in order to be able to animate this mask map, I need to create a parameter. And with this created parameter, I can go into my Unreal Sequencer and animate the parameter in my Sequencer timeline. And as you can see, I keep blocking out the main movements and the main story. I keep adjusting the camera 
and I keep adjusting the characters and I'm adjusting the lights and I'm animating the lights to fit within my compositions and my story. I am adding a little bit more expression to the adult version of a hero character just to showcase more clearly what is going on and what is her emotion in this particular moment. Since this is just a pre-production, I'm not gonna fully animate it at this point. The animation or mocap will come in the next stage. As you can see here, as the daughter puts her hands up to protect herself, a new mark is about to be created on her as well. And as the adult hero character sees that she's about to create a trauma on her own daughter, she snaps out of it and realizes that she needs to change the pattern and she immediately hugs her daughter and we see that the mark that was about to be created in the daughter vanishes. This could also work nicely as a symbolic for our hero characters in our child. And finally in the end I am adjusting the lights in the final image to create a strong nice end frame and I'm adjusting the warmth of the light to create a nice warm picture in the end. And voila! Here is the finished previous and the next phase in the next video will be animation. And if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe and share. That means a lot. Thank you.